tuko katika njia ya pili nayo integration by parts. Sasa katika integration by parts nayo hii ni katika njia ambayo ni katika njia moja wapo ambayo inatumika kusolve maswali mengi by parts. So tutakuja katika integration by part wakati tuki tuki tukiona by integration by substitution imeferi. So consider consider the given given expression kwa shum kwamba umepewa expression ifuatayo. Uh, let's recall from from differentiation umepewa d, d dx of function f of x ndani kuna g of x. So umepewa function mbili zimezidishwa. Hivi katika differentiation tulikuwa tunafanyaje? Hii hapo unaanza una differentiate ya kwanza f prime of x alafu unazidisha na just the normal function ya pili una add una ichukua the normal function hii ya kwanza of x na unazidisha na nini differentiation ya function ya pili so tulikuwa tukifanya hivi so hii process ya kutoka hapa kuja huku hii process ndio tulikuwa tunaita nini derivation kutafuta derivative so now tutakuwa tunafanya nini tunataka kurudi from this function to the original function ambayo tulikuwa nayo hii sasa ndio tunaita nini integration so hapa katika function za aina hii it's not a composite function but function mbili ambazo zimezidishwa to each other hii ndo tuna hii function ya kwanza na hii function ya pili so zimezidishwa to each other so hapa most of times substitution method fails kwa hapa itakayotumika ni nini integration by part so tuna d dx hebu tuiandike tena weka bracket zako f of x times g of x hii Mpata f prime ya x tumesema tunazidisha na g of x plus f ya x as you know, g prime ya x so hapa zidisha kwa dx dx throughout so hapo utakuwa na d weka as normal kama kawaida tuiandike tena hii una d ya f of x times g of x okay zidisha huku utakuwa nayo nini sasa hizi zidisha tumezidisha kwa dx throughout so hapa tutakuwa na f x g of x zidisha kwa dx plus f of x g prime ya x zidisha kwa dx tumezidisha hapa so now after that one put your integral sign utaputi integral throughout so ukiweka integral sign tumesema kwamba hii b ndo sawa sawa na ile prime itaenda na nini na our integral so zitakufa hizi hapa itabakia tu f of x times g of x huku itakuwa nini hapa sasa tutakuwa na hii f prime of x times g ya x dx plus nini huku itakuwa na f of x times g prime ya x dx sasa function ambayo tutakuwa tunaitafuta ambayo tutaswali tutalopewa ni hii function ambayo ni integral of f of x g prime of x dx so let make this is a subject so to make hiyo a subject itakuwa ni integral of f of x uh, g prime of x dx hii ni sawa sawa na nini ni sawa sawa na tukisema of f of x times g of x minus integral of f prime ya x times g of x dx again so hapa sasa twende sasa to let hapa tuna let e f of x let equal to u g of x let equal to v sasa twenty sasa baada ya kuleti ni kwamba u tumesema ni f of x what is the u the u now ni f prime f prime ya x dx what is v v tumesema ni g of x so what is the v the v is g prime of x dx so now let's substitute these values in our original integral up there tuone tutapata nini so tuki, tukiweka pale tutapata what is f of x f of x is u what is g prime of x dx g prime of x dx ni hiki kitu ambao ni dv hii ni sawa sawa na nini what is f of x tumesema u g of x ni v minus integral f prime of x dx f prime of x dx ni hiki kitu ambao ni du what is gx gx ni v so inakuwa hivi kwa hiyo naomba this is very basic expression kwa katika hii second approach ya kusolve integration ambayo tunasema kwamba integration by parts so when you talk about integration by parts unazungumzia hii kitu so tukirecall tena inakuwa ni integral of u dv ili ndo 
swali ambalo tutakuwa tumepewa equal to u times v minus integral of v u kwa hiyo this is the very basic part ya nini integration by part so tunavyozungumzia integration by part hui sasa ehe tunakuja kwenye hii second category how do we select u and v when we are given kwa sababu tutapewa function mbili ambazo zime matu, zimezidishwa kwa pamoja so how to how how can we select u kwa sababu u should be selected first kwa hiyo u should be selected first katika ile function yako sasa how what criteria do you use to calculate u hapa kuna criteria nyingi ya kwanza kabisa wana unaweza ukasema wanaita liate some other people they call it liate wanafata hii kwa hiyo hii inamaanisha nini hii inamaanisha unaanza na logarithmic hii hii inverse alafu kuna a ni algebra alafu t ni trig alafu e kwa exponent exponential kwa hiyo oh, exponent kwa hiyo unaanza kufata hii ikiwa kwenye function yako kuna nini ikiwa kwenye function yako kuna logarithmic so utaanza kuleti u ni as, as that logarithmic function ambayo iko kwenye integral ikiwa kuna inverse let inverse function ikiwa kuna algebra let algebra ndio iwe u wa u kinachobakia inakuwa that the other part of function watu wengine wanasema hivi wengine wanasema lapte natumia lapt lakini all zinaleta hivyo hivyo majibu sawa kwa hiyo hii pia ndo kama vile vile logarithmic hii ni algebra kwa hawa jamaa wa lapt wanasema kuna polynomial function polynomial function alafu kuna trig alafu wanamalizia na exponential so kila kitu kiko sawa ila hawa tu wameongeza nini kuna polynomial na wakaweka inverse lakini inaita lapt Alafu njia ya tatu ambayo naona ndio Tanzania wengi tunatumia na nekta nekta wengine wanasema ilate ilate katika ilate hapa unaanza na nini inverse inverse unafuatia nini logarithmic unafuatia nini algebra unafuatia trig alafu unafuatia exponent kwa hiyo hii ilate ndo ambayo wanatumia sana especially hata nekta hata walimu wengi wanatumia hii ilate hii kategori ya kufata hii. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunafata ilate katika how to select u kwa sababu inabidi u select u alafu ndo uendelee na hii expression yako by part. Hebu tusisahau tujikumbushe tena by part tumesema inakuwa u dv ambayo ndo function yenyewe inakuwa uv minus v du. Kwa hiyo hiki kitu ndo ukisikia by part. By part is all about it, this thing. Kwa hiyo that's all about by part. Sasa so, tuje tuone sasa katika by part tutaanza kesi ya kwanza ya kusolve equation by part case 1 case 1. Case 1 hebu tusolve by parts ambazo by parts of infinity integral. Tunavyosema infinity integral kama tulivyosema ni zile integral ambazo hazina nini? Tumesema hazina limits. They are not bounded kwa hiyo ndo tunaita infinity integral. Kwa hiyo tuanze na kesi ya kwanza kwa kutumia infinity integral tuanze kwa mfano umepewa uh, x cos of x dx. Sasa tumesema hapa vile vile kuna function mbili. Angalia by substitution inawezekana kweli. Hapa nikisa, nikifanyia differentiation ya x can I get cos x? No, nikijifanyia differentiation ya cos x can, can I get x? No. So hapa unaona kwamba what substitution method fails kwa hiyo baada ya substitution method what can you think the second one is what by parts so by parts hapa sawa so, tunakuja sasa unatumia hii your ilate ilate approach ili kujua ipi ya u ipi ya v kwa sababu by parts it's nothing more than just u dv is equal to u dv is equal to what is equal to u v minus v u so u v is your original function ambayo ni hii hapa sasa so, kwa hiyo hapa kwa kutumia by part unataka ukompea hii na u v lakini lazima tuangalie tufate categories hii ilate je kwenye hii function yangu na inverse kwenye function yangu hakuna inverse na logarithm katika function yangu hakuna kuna algebra kwenye function yangu yes kuna algebra ambayo ni nini ni x So katika hii function tunaleti nini 
tunaleti u iwe nini iwe x kwa automatically baada ya hapo utafuta du itakuwa ni nini x baada ya hapa sasa hiki kinachobakia chote hiki kama u ndo umeleti x hii u ndo umeleti u x so hiki chote kinachofuatia hiki ni nini ni dv tunaenda na dv so kumbe dv hapa itakuwa ni e cos of x dx so tafuta u v so v ili kupata v inabidi uintegrate hii u dv na ukiintegrate hii ni rahisi what tukiintegrate cos of x tunapata nini tunapata sin of x kwa sababu uki uki differentiate sin of x unapata cos of x so the, the inverse is like that because integration is inverse so baada ya hapo njoo kwenye function yako hii ni sawa sawa na nini njoo hapa sasa hii itakuwa ni x cos of x dx unakuja is equal to nini tulisema is equal to uv okay unataka kuifananisha hii kitu iwe uv equal to uv minus v du kwa hiyo unakuja sasa what is your u u ni x what is your v my v is sin of x okay minus integration of v what is your v sin of x what is your du my du ni hii ambayo ni nini dx so hapa endelea hii itakuwa x sin of x minus je yeah, niki integrate sin of x napata nini tunajua hii kitu niki integrate sin of x tulisema unapata negative cos of x kwa sababu tulisema kwamba uki differentiate cos of x unapata negative sin of x so uki integrate sin of x unapata negative cos of x vice versa but is it, it is what it is in infinity integral so don't forget to add constant c so mwisho wa siku therefore ukija hapa itakuwa ni x cos of x dx inakuwa ni nini x sin of x negative na negative inakuwa plus cos of x plus nini c kwa hiyo this is your answer kwa hiyo huu mfano wa kwanza Tuje mfano wa pili tena tunaenda na na mfano wa pili kwenye hii hii bado tuko kwenye infinity integral mfano wa pili unasemaje mfano wa pili unasema x square alafu kuna e power x dx kwa hiyo hii tunataka tu tunaangalia sasa katika hii kitu je niki niki differentiate hii x square can i get e power x no it's impossible je niki differentiate x can i get this one no ko has it in any case so hapa substitution method fails so kilichobakia hapa ni nini by part by part nataka niweke hii katika fomu ya nini u dv iwe uv minus what v du that's by part okay so hii ndo tunasema by part lakini by part tumesema nini lazima usisahau hii criteria yako ya nini ilate lakini ilate nasemaje tunaanza na inverse kwenye function yangu kuna inverse no tunafata logarithmic kuna logarithmic hapa hakuna algebra kuna algebra hapa yes ipo algebra ambayo ni nini ni x square so unakuja moja kwa moja u is equal to x square unatafuta du ambayo itakuwa ni 2x dx unakuja upande wa pili hiki kingine chote kinachobaki hiki nina kikompea na nini na dv kwa sababu hiki chote unakikompea na hii u dv ndo swali lako kwa hiki dv hapa yote ni hiki kitu changu ambacho ni x x square your dv hapa your dv hapa kilichobaki ni nini ni hiki x square i mean e power x sorry dv yako inakuwa ni hii e power x dx hii ndo nini hii ndo dv yako tuandike kwa peni nzuri inakuwa ni e power x dx hii ndo dv so hapa hatua ya pili tunafanyaje tunatafuta v so v yangu nitaipata nini v nitaipata kwa kuintegrate hii lakini tunajua ukiintegrate exponential function unapata ile ile exponential function so tuje kwenye expression yetu expression yetu inasemaje inasema iwe x square e power x dx hii iwe sawa na uv kwa sababu hiki ndo hii hapa u dv hii kitu iwe sawa na uv minus v du okay so hapa njoo endelea what is your u my u is x square what is your v my v now is e power x minus what is your v again my v is e power x what is your du my du is 2x dx tunaona hapa now ukiangalia sasa kwenye hii part ya pili hapa still bado kuna tatizo kwa sababu i can't still i can't integrate this thing directly so hii inaitwa by part within by part tuna tunaandago tena by part kwenye hiki section hapa kwa sababu 
iki tena hatuwezi tukakintageti tena direct kwa sababu uwezo kufanya substitution kwenye hii part ni hivi kwa tunaendelea hapa tuta, tutafanyaje tutafanya by part kwenye iki kitu kwa hiyo kiweke ndani vizuri hii x 2x dx kwa hiyo size hapa kwenye kwenye hii kitu tutafanyia by part lakini kuwa makini endelea nayo katika ile kitu rudi tena kwenye kategoria yako ya nini ilate endelea na ilate yako so hapa kuna inverse kuna inverse hapa no kuna logarithmic hapana kuna algebra yes ipo algebra algebra yangu ni nini ni hii 2 power x so endelea kwenye hiki hiki kipati hiki hapa kwa hiyo unaweza ukatenga kipati kidogo ukasema hapa u yangu nao ni nini ni hii algebra ambayo ni 2x kwa hiyo ukitafuta du hapa inakuwa ni nini 2dx okay endelea Iki kingine chote kinachobakia hiki ex na dx hii inaende kwa sababu hiki unakikompea na nini unakikompea na hii u dv kwa hiyo u yako ndio ile ambayo algebra tumesema 2x tumepata hii lakini hiki kingine chote kilichobaki ni nini dv so hapa dv yangu ni nini ni ex dx hii ni dv kwa hiyo utatafuta v how do we get v to integrate hii throughout kwa hiyo tukiintegrate hapa unapata hapa v hapa unapata ex So endelea naye. Hii ukishafanya hivi inakuwa nini? Tunasema kwamba tumesema u dv normally inabidi iwe u v minus v u. So hii endelea nayo huku ili iwe x square e power x minus okay put the bigger bracket alafu u v. What's my u now? My u is 2x. What is your v? Your v is ex minus again bracket what is your v? My v is ex What is your du? My du is 2 dx. Kwa hiyo endelea na hiki part sasa. Hii ni by part within by part. So unaendelea nayo hapa itakuwa ni 2x ex minus hapa sasa 2 inaenda nje kama tulivyojifunza kwenye constant inatoka nje hapa ex dx. Sasa hii ni kawaida tu. Hii ni nini? Hii ni ku integrate nini exponential function which is very normal. Kwa hiyo x square ex minus hapa itakuwa ni 2x ex hapa tu tumetoa nje tuki tukiintegrate exponential function tunapata ile ile tunajua tunaweka hivi lakini yote kwa sababu ni indefinite usisahau kuputi constant c kwa hiyo baadaye unaweza ka open your brackets alafu ukaja uka ukaenda ukajua function yako original ukasema kwamba kumbe uh, nikiintegrate x square e x dx jibu lake napata nini x square e x minus fungua bracket 2x ex minus 2ex plus c. Kwa hiyo hii ndo jibu lako. Kwa hiyo hiyo ndo tunaita nini? Tunaita tunaita integration by parts. Ah, hapa sasa tukiangalia tulivyofungua hii brackets ukizidishia hapa hapa inakuwa negative lakini hapa inakuwa plus. So kuna plus kama hivi. 